Local 4 News is taking time this week to highlight mental health struggles a lot of people face. We started telling you about former Bettendorf High School basketball standout DJ Carton and his battle off the court. DJ suffers from depression. He struggled in high school and it only got worse when he went to play at Ohio State. Fans on social media did not make things any better. Local 4's Corey Rolden shows us what he did that ultimately led him to fight that battle within. January 30th, 2020 is a date that DJ Carton and his family will remember forever. That's the day he left Ohio State. Many questions surrounded if DJ would ever play basketball again. But for the Cartons, they just wanted to make sure DJ was DJ again. And I got a call from Coach Holtman and said, um, could you please come here and you know to the school? And I said, yeah. I said, I'm 20, 25 minutes away. I said, what's going on? And he said, uh, um, DJ shared with us that he, um, he wants to take a break from basketball um, and that he is um, being evaluated by the um, therapist and the doctor and that he is suicidal. And at first it made it worse just because, you know, stopping the game you love. Um, I still, you know, I said I have people on social media, um, you know, not liking my decision and stuff like that, but also you know, um, I did it for myself. I didn't do it for for anybody else other than myself and my safety. The news that DJ left Ohio State got out quickly, but Carton did not shy away from the attention. He wanted everyone to know why he did it. Um, but I told him that I wanted to like make it uh, make it public for why I was doing it, and I told him that because I wanted to help people out because I saw myself in a spot where I knew I was going through stuff. I knew things in my heart, life were hard. But I also thought that it was a weakness to tell people about it. When he got back at home, DJ struggled with even the smallest activities. Things became even more difficult. Yeah. Watching him eat was physically... He would. We would go to a thing and he would make himself eat. You could just see him kind of going, like, almost throwing up in his mouth, trying to force himself to eat a hamburger. It was I mean, so hard to watch. His favorite foods that he would eat, this, he couldn't even eat them. DJ was in a dark place. He even struggled to get out of his room. Very rarely left his bedroom, so yeah, was, if I was going was to, to come out, and yeah, and if I was going to, um, you know, if I was wanting to talk to him, that's where I would have to go, or we would have to call him downstairs, or. But I think in the end, it was a good thing. I mean, because we almost forced him to talk about things, and then he really yeah. did start opening up, and which I think helped too. I think during that time, our, my bond with my family had, had grown so much just because they had seen me going through something. And I put my trust in them to, you know, help me get out of that. And they also put their trust in me uh, for me to be honest with how I felt. After six months away from the game, DJ decided to play at Marquette. But the Carton still questioned if he loved the game of basketball. I mean, that, that was a really hard time for me. Um, I had a really good supporting cast through that time. Um, I took uh, a, a pretty long break from basketball. Um, didn't touch the ball for a while just to clear my mind, be with my family. And then um, and then I got back to it, came on campus um, after I committed with Marquette and then um, came back into it, uh, started falling in love with the game again. I mean, even yeah. going to Marquette, we were kind of worried, is, does he really love the game like he used yeah. to? Because and that's what he, he didn't love the game anymore. He had no confidence anymore. He, um, he just didn't love it, you know? And his biggest thing was... Um, I'm not just a basketball player. DJ's back playing basketball, but he still needed to gain the trust that his coaches love DJ the person, not just a basketball player. From Davenport, I'm Corey Rolden, Local 4 Sports. Please join us tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Corey will wrap up the series and tell us how DJ fell back in love with the game of basketball.